okay, here's the build update. I went to, uh, I bought this. Office Depot. <clears throat> I actually didn't go all the way, I didn't travel all the way to Office Depot just to buy this. I was in the area for other stuff. And I planned to stop at Office Depot because I wanted to get graph paper, but I wanted to get <clears throat> the proper size, which is 11 by 17. But then I saw this and they didn't even have 11 17, but I said, you know what? I like this because it's kind of like really nice, plasticky. I've never in my life bought something like nice paper. I always just buy loose leaf paper. So I'm going to be traveling on a bike soon and. This would be better sticking in a suitcase than some full size paper. So I bought this. My idea is uh, I could do like small parts of it or big parts and a lot of editing because I've noticed I've been uh, editing and I kind of, well, this is where I'm at now, which uh, I basically, when I went grocery shopping, I bought a folder and I just been, I've been just trying to make drawings and trying to figure out things. These are all rough. And I, you, because when you turn in plans, <clears throat> you gotta even like know like where the two by fours go. And I don't really know that, but I'm learning. So these are my rough sketches and like working on a book. I'm gonna edit a lot. And I've come up with this so far. It's gonna be like a bedroom, a little area. HVAC, this is where the 4x4 for the air, air conditioning, heating, and then this, I guess, will be closet, table here. This is uh, where I'm gonna, my main uh, drumming area. And I got this little room here. It's gonna have a door here and a door here, washer, dryer, because I think this will cut down some of the noise. And having these rooms here will just cut down noise here, but I am worried about noise getting to these neighbors or these neighbors, so. But basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm spending a lot of time. Oh, dirt. And yeah, so. I bought this for $3. It's a graph paper. It's really nice. I kind of don't really want to mess it up, but. That's where I am now. And I've been thinking, you know, because. After you get suitable plans complete on a proper paper. You, well you buy land and then how high do you uh, the house you know like right here how high does this have to be above the road can you just decide on your own or is there like rules so that's basically what's worrying me now how high and then a foundation is four feet of concrete plus sometimes they have something called a footer but if I'm going to be in a Virginia how wide does the footer have to be how deep does the footer have to be? Then you have to put these little uh, bolts on it. So I gotta figure out all that. Cause basically, when you have a plant, you gotta like solve all the questions. All the questions have to be answered. Everything has to be on paper. And then you just you just go. So that's where I am now in my uh, building my own home, so I can uh, not be homeless and play drums later.